Hello, my dear students. How are you? Must be fine. That's very nice. Okay, students. Today we are going to start our next chapter of 10th standard. It is of supplementary English reader. And the name of the chapter is Half a Rupee Worth. This is written by R.K. Narayan. Oh, so this is a very interesting chapter. So just listen it carefully. I'm going to tell the summary of this chapter. It's a story of Subia. Subia is a rice merchant. He was very, when he was very small, he used to work with his father. But uh, after that, his father got expired. And he just, uh, he run his shop, rice shop, very nicely. So he knew everything about the rice. And when it was the age of the children just to play outside, play in the streets and to watch the movies and to go here and there, he, his father, he just took him and he make him sit near the, on the shop to run and sell the rice. So, my dear students, you will find one statement here in this chapter. Rice was in his blood. So, it was, it doesn't mean that the, the rice was in his blood. It means that he knew each and everything about rice and rice business. He, now he was grown up. He had a family. He is a wife and children. And he had a very big house. And apart from selling the rice, he had one more business that is to, he just gave money on interest to others. And if they were unable to pay off the interest, he just acquired their houses. And in this way, he had a number of houses in his own village and apart from that in the other villages also. He rice peachne ke lava bache, he kya karta tha ki vyaj par paise bhi deta tha. लेकिन अगर कोई ब्याज का पैसा नहीं वापस कर सकता था तो इसको घर को अपना कर लेता था ठीक है उसके ऊपर अपना अपना होल्ड कर लेता था और इस तरह से उसके पास एक नहीं बहुत सारे घर थे ना कि अपने अपने ही गांव में बल्कि आसपास के गांव में भी सो एज लाइक दिस ही मेड वन ऑफ हिज हाउस अ बिग गोडाउन टू जस्ट हाइड टू जस्ट स्टोर हिज राइस बैग्स he had a very small shop of rice. He had different types of rice there. All rices were there. But the thing is, he there was a, just a stinging smell of these uh, uh, sacks and other things. But he used to enjoy all those smells very much. When there was a time of some, you can say epidemics, you can say or the flood or something else, what happens? Subi was very happy during those days because during the natural disasters there were no food but he had enough food so he just do the black marketing of that food and it sell he sell those rice in at a very high prices what what happened there was a drought and uh, there was no rice in the village so government decided a fixed price for the rice but he bribed the officers that were sent by the government and he started selling rice at his own Great. Now, one day what happened? He, first of all, I will just uh, like to tell you that uh, his house was the nicest one house in the village. It was uh, painted in a blue color and so many beautiful paintings were hanging on there. And uh, his children, they just read in very good school, in English medium school. So now it was the time of drought. And what happened? All were very, they were starving. They don't have any uh, thing to eat. One night what happened? He was just about to uh, close his shop. And all of a sudden, one man, he came. And he said that uh, it's my good luck that I just uh, met you before you just closed down your shop. So will you please give me the rice? He said, I don't have rice and I don't have even time to listen. You, I have a very urgent work. He again requested, sir, I really need rice because uh, my old mother, she's starving and my children and myself. So I have to take some rice. You please give me. He said, how much you want? He said, I have only half a rupee. Half a rupee is 50 paisa. You know, there are 100 paisa in one rupee and half a rupee means 50 paisa. So he said, I have only half a rupee. So will you please give me rice worth half a rupee? He said, you can't because I will give you only half uh, sale of the rice. Sale is the unit. It's a quantity. 
that person he said that in the market we are getting three share of one rupee so how you will give me only half share for half rupee he said if you want to get it you can add otherwise you can leave i don't have any time to listen your nonsense things now that man was helpless he said okay just give me half share he just took the money and he went somewhere he said okay you just wait here i'll come with your rice and don't come after me don't follow me that man he stood there and he waited for him he waited for subhi for three hours subhi didn't come he just waited now night fall and uh, after night what happened the morning it, uh, it came subhi was still waiting then he went to subhi's house he just want to know whether subhi is in the house or where he is there he met his wife the wife said that uh, subhi hasn't come at the night so let's go and search him in the next street we are having our go down there they went there room was the godown's room uh, lo- door was locked so one of the small boy uh, he entered uh, from the ventilator and he opened the bolt of the door and they entered inside now what do they find they find that there was a light there was a torch it was on and it there was a light so you, they went near the light and they found that somebody was he was under the he was buried under the sack of big rice sacks and only one hand was visible and in that hand he was carrying one half rupee so can you guess who he was whose hand was this and who was buried under the big sacks of rice yes of course it was subhi himself just to see that he was a big rice uh, seller he was very rich but even then he had a great greed so greed led him to his death so story is interesting and it's a, it gives some a, some gives some message also so i have told you the story and we will meet soon with the question answers of this chapter till then keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon till then bye bye